favorite Bella memory would have to be whenever you were getting ready to go on a trip and she knew this because you were packing stuff and she peed on your clothes. That was pretty funny. Um, but also she was always such a good sport whenever I would come over and bug her with affection and aggressive pets and she would just take it even though you could tell she did not want to be held and manhandled. She was always a really good sport. Very good kitty. Very agile. A very agile cat. Well, I haven't wanted to make this video because I couldn't think about doing it without crying because I just love all the animals. <laughs> um... Bella's been around since I was fucking middle school. <laughs> Half my life. And like literally all of my memories of high school and middle sc school, Bella's there. She And Katie got to live together. She's so lucky that she got to know Katie. I just think about <laughs> how Bella was supposed to be Burnsy that Lisa Rippo fucking <laughs> stole from us and then Burnsy turned out to be the ugliest, fattest cat ever. <laughs> And then she wasn't meant to be your cat. And that Bella was. And like, she's just irreplaceable. Like, she's been your ride or die. My f favorite memory <laughs> is of I think like probably the first time you and Sky tried to get me to smoke weed. We were in the downstairs closet, closet of the closet in your bedroom. And I'm pretty sure you guys were blowing smoke into Bella's ears. Smoking into a toilet paper roll <laughs> with tissue in it. And I just like, I think that you guys tried to get me contact high, but like Bella was there. It's like the first <laughs> experience I had with weed. I know everyone feels like this about animals, but I also just... <laughs> There's so many memories of like you living in Boise and me visiting and your fish that Bella was friends with and I like really actually feel like Bella loved me like even though I like have my fucking cat allergies and like <laughs> more recently I haven't been able to like be super close with cats or like have such a special place for her in my heart I was like always really did feel like she like loved me like made me feel seen <laughs> like cats are really like that i don't feel that way about any of my other siblings cats <laughs> she's really special and we'll never forget her when i first met stephanie um, she didn't have Bella with her. She was living with a family and couldn't bring Bella, and Bella was in Sun Valley. And it's crazy how much I knew about Bella before I ever met her. And then by the time Nancy moved down here and she brought Bella, I felt like I'd already known her. One of the first things I noticed right off the bat was just how close Bella reminded me of Stephanie. She's 
tiny, just like Stephanie. She's really, really beautiful markings, just like Stephanie. <laughs> I mean, not markings, but just really beautiful and regal in the way she moves. And um, it was so cool to see the bond between Stephanie and Bella, even early on. And I don't think I fully understood it until I got Leo and felt what that bond between your animal and you can feel like. It's this soul connection and it's just incredible and all consuming and I honestly do think that they're just like little angels sent down here to watch over us to teach us about love and life and unfortunately loss, um, but to comfort us through so much. Um, I always loved coming over and, you know, I was a little bit uh, scared of Bella sometimes because she could be so feisty and um, I had had cats when I was younger, but Bella definitely was one of the feistiest cats I'd ever met, just like a mama. Um, but she was the only cat I wasn't allergic to that I know of to this day. So that's another special Bella quality. But I just, again, my favorite thing is watching Stephanie with her soulmate <laughs> in cat form and just seeing how much they absolutely loved one another. And the only thing that I know, having lost my soulmate, is that it's almost been two years and you don't love them any less. And I don't know what's on the other side, but I feel like I can feel his love for me too and honestly when things are hard or when I'm feeling lonely I can almost feel his little body curled up right next to me and I hope that you get to feel that too and I'm so sorry that you have to lose your soulmate Right now, I'm so sorry I have to feel all of this. But I do think, even after she's gone, she'll be around. Somehow, in some energetic form. Because she loves you. And I love you. I'm thinking about you always. And sending you healing vibes. I'm so sorry. I love you. Take 55, this time with the filter on to cover up my eye bags from crying. I'm trying to read this letter. Here we go again. It's with heavy hearts that we bid farewell to our beloved family cat, Bella. A feline force of nature, Bella's antics and unique personality left an indelible mark on our lives, creating memories that will forever bring smiles and laughter. Bella, with her own brand of mischief, had a knack for, knack for finding trouble in the most unexpected places. I'll never forget the day she discovered my hideous college home ec projects in the back of the hallway closet at the Sumac house. She decided that my fabric pile was a perfect substitute for a litter box. I guess even Bella had an eye for design, or at least a way of telling me my creations wouldn't make it to the Met anytime soon. One of the highlights of Bella's time with us was undoubtedly her relationship with Dad. Now we all know that cats aren't supposed to be manly companions, but Bella and Dad defied stereotypes at every turn. Touching Dad snuggling with Bella on his bed became a common sight, and it was clear that she held a special place in his heart. 
Of course, her incessant desire for his attention, especially when he was about to let her out for her daily adventures, only added to the charm of their bond. Bella's outdoor escapades became legendary. She'd vanish for hours exploring the world around her, only to return covered in multiple layers of shit. He always worried every time she disappeared that Lisa Rippo had struck again. And then came the infamous bath, a ritual we all endured with her blood curdling scream, all while plotting her next grand adventure. There was a moment of panic when we thought we'd lost Bella before our family trip. Dad threatened to leave without her and we scoured the house looking for our wayward adventurer. Little did we know she had found the perfect nap spot under the front porch, unfazed by the chaos of packing suitcase and the impending journey that she always dreaded. Despite her quirks, Bella was the first cat I've ever loved, forever holding the title of my favorite little beanie baby. Her cuddles were unparalleled, and those distinctive arm humps will be sorely missed. There is no doubt that there will ever be another kitty like her. As we say our goodbyes, let's remember Bella for the joy, laughter, and love she brought into our lives. May her memory be a source of comfort and warmth like the purring ball of fur that once curled up in our laps. Another thing to add, my dearest Bella, beyond the joy and laughter you brought to my life, I want to express express my deepest gratitude for the endless love and support you showered upon Stephanie over the years. You were more than a pet, you were her bestie. A furry confidant who witnessed the highs and lows offering comfort and companionship through thick and thin. Stephanie wouldn't be the same without the unwavering friendship you provided. Your fuzzy presence filled her days with warmth and joy, creating a bond that transcended words. Your purrs were a sweet melody, sweet soothing melody, and your playful antics were a constant source of amusement. Rest in peace, my sweet, dear Beanie. You will be missed, but never forgotten. I have no doubt you will thrive in furball heaven with our little angels, Katie and Luna, and hopefully an endless amount of catnip to keep the zoomies going forever. Love you, Bella. There's so many fond memories amazing stories of the personality that Bella brought to, to the world and to our family and it's really it's been really hard to just think of one um, but I always come back to, to one specific instance um, with her and it was when I had just gotten back from the UK um, was there for WPS and I think your mom was actually staying at our place at the Huntington um, and I had come home and I want to say it was like 10 or 11 days um, I had been gone a lot Bella was used to it but when I came home from that trip I just remember that you came downstairs to greet me in the landing and she blew down the stairs past you up on the shoe container up into the window around you just to get to me to say hi and I think that that's my probably my favorite memory of Bella there are a million like I said there's a million things that I think about on a daily basis but that was just like for the first time I knew that she always she always loved me but I guess that that was for me like the time that really was like how much and it was really special to me always be special to me um, I think of her every day and know that she will be in our hearts and our minds forever. I love her and I love you.